Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the solemnity of all saints, we venerate all holy men and women, our brothers and sisters, who now enjoy God's glory in heaven. And we pray in this Mass that one day we may also be found worthy to join them in God's kingdom. We also begin today our Novena of Masses to pray for our faithful departed. Let us entrust our brothers and sisters who have gone before us to the mercy and love of God so that we may become less unworthy to partake of the mysteries of God's love. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's saving, healing, and merciful love. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God and to, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal. 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvations come from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. 
Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
if you look at images or pictures of the saints, you would observe that they seem to be calm, composed, and relaxed. Pagmasdan nyo lamang po ang mga imahe ng mga santo o tumingin kayo sa mga picture o mga stampita ng mga santo para silang relax na relax. Walang ka-stress-stress sa kanilang pagbumuka. And even images of saints depicting the moment of their suffering, persecution, and martyrdom. For example, the image of Saint Sebastian, nakatali, nakagapos, at merong mga sibat sa katawan, may mga sugat sa katawan, pero pag titingnan ninyo ang kanyang mukha, he seems to be at peace. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, sometimes these depictions of saints as being calm, composed, relaxed, at peace, make us distance ourselves from them. We think that their life is so different from our life because our life is so bombarded every day by problems, difficulties, worries, stress, anxieties, and fears. Parang ibang-iba sila kasi tayo maraming pinagdaraan ng struggle sa buhay. And even the very word holiness, when you talk of the word holiness, our image of a holy person is someone who is calm and at peace. Yung banayad kumilos, yung tahimik, yung mahinhin, hindi magaslaw, hindi maingay, hindi tumatawa ng malakas. Ang banal, banayad, at tahimik. We do not always associate the words problems, struggles, worries, and stress with holiness. But my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the solemnity of all saints today, the second time that we celebrate All Saints Day during the COVID-19 pandemic, we are reminded and even given the consolation that problems, difficulties, struggles, stress, suffering, anxieties, tribulations, fears, all of these are part of holiness. In our first reading today, from the book of Revelation, John was given a vision of the glory of heaven. And he saw in heaven a great multitude of peoples which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. And they stood before the throne and before the Lamb. And towards the end of the first reading, we are told who these people are. Our first reading tells us, these are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their lambs, their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The holy ones who stand before the throne of God are the ones who have survived the time of great 
distress. The saints persevered through suffering and struggles. In our gospel, we heard the famous teaching of Jesus we call the Beatitudes. And Jesus enumerates those who are blessed. And why are, are they blessed? Because they endured many sufferings and struggles in life. And they persevered. And because of their perseverance through suffering and persecution, they are rewarded by God. That is why the poor in spirit are blessed. Those who mourn are blessed. Those who are meek of heart are blessed. Those who hunger and thirst for justice are blessed. Those who show mercy are blessed. Those who strive to keep their hearts pure and clean are blessed. Those who make peace with one another are blessed. Those who undergo persecutions are blessed. Because through these sufferings, God made them holy and God rewards them with eternal glory. And St. John, in our second reading today, also reminds us that we are children of God. That is our identity. That is our dignity. And yet, as children of God, we face so many difficulties in life that we do not know what God will reveal to us in the future. But we know we have hope, and this hope will make us pure. My dear brothers and sisters, in the saints, we are taught that we become holy not in spite of sufferings. We become holy through sufferings. That sufferings in this life are roads toward holiness. Because the sufferings that we endure in this life make us pure. And once we are pure, we reflect the image of God. We become reflections and manifestations of God. And that is who a saint is. A saint is a human being who allows the glory and the holiness of God to be reflected through him. And that will only happen we can only reflect God when we are pure. And we are made pure through the sufferings we endure. My dear brothers and sisters, this reminds me of something I read about refining silver. Do you know how silver is refined? Paanong pinadadalisay ang pilak? In refining silver, the silversmith holds a piece of silver and puts it in the middle of the fire because in the middle of the fire, the flames are hottest. And the silversmith has to keep it there at the hot, hottest part of the fire in order to remove all the impurities in the silver. But as he does that, the silversmith has to sit in front of the fire. 
and he does not only sit there in front of the fire, he also needs to keep watch, to look at all times, of the, at every moment of the process. He has to keep his eyes on the silver in the fire because if the silver were a moment too long in the fire, the silver might be destroyed. And so, he has to keep watch. Kailangan niyang bantayang mabuti yung kanyang pinadadalisay na pilak para hindi ito tuluyang matunaw at masira. And if you ask the silversmith, when will you know that the silver is already purified, is already refined, the silversmith will simply say, well, if I look at the silver and my reflection is already there, if I can already see my image in the silver, then it means that the silver is already purified. My dear brothers and sisters, that is what holiness through suffering is all about. That is why when we feel that our life is in the middle of the flames, where the fire is hottest, believe that God is purifying you. When you feel that you are experiencing all sorts of sufferings in this life, believe that God is making you holy. God is turning you to become a saint. When you go through purification and suffering in life, believe that God, our silversmith, is sitting there in front of the fire holding you. And He does not only hold you, He is also fixing His gaze on you so that you will not be destroyed by the fire. And God needs to do that in order that His image might be reflected in your life. And if His image is already reflected in your life, then you are a saint. My dear brothers and sisters, we go through many struggles, problems, difficulties, stress, and sufferings in this life. Our experience of this pandemic itself is a great suffering for all humanity. We have many forms of sufferings that we experience in life. Wala namang buhay na walang pagdurusa at paghihirap. Iba't iba lang siguro ng antas ang hirap at pagdurusa na ating pinagdaraanan. But let us look at them in a positive light. Let us look at them like a silversmith purifying silver. Kapag may mga hindi magandang nangyayari sa ating buhay, kapag may mga bagay na hindi natin matanggap, tandaan natin, dinadalisay tayo ng Diyos. Minsan kahit na yung pag-homily namin, hindi ninyo matanggap. May mga sinasabi kami na nakaka-offend, kaya minsan yung mga nasa online sasabihin, ay ayaw na namin dyan makinig. Hindi na kami mag-online mas dahil ayaw namin ang mga pinagsasasabi niyang paring yan. Namumuliti ka yan. But maybe that is God's way of purifying our principles in life, our beliefs, our attitude. Only it happens in a difficult process 
nasasaktan tayo, na offend tayo, pero pinadadalisay tayo ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, even though the images and pictures of saints depict them as calm, composed, relaxed, and at peace, we know that they underwent so much suffering, so much struggle, so much purification, and because of that, they became images of God, saints. Someone said, the pain that does not kill you will only make you better. We could also say, the flames that do not consume you will only make you purer. And the sufferings that do not crush you will only make you a saint. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. As God's people on earth, let us unite our prayers with all the saints in heaven for the needs of men and women everywhere. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, the joyful mother of a great company of saints, may bring all her children to the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That all people of goodwill may receive true life and a binding peace to the redeeming blood of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who suffer persecution in the cause of right may continue steadfastly in the way the saints walked before them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in offering and receiving the Eucharist, we may respond to God's universal call to holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That all who have gone before us in faith may be brought speedily to behold God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. We also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass, especially for all the faithful departed. Father of holiness and grace, we offer our petitions with the prayers of Blessed Mary and all the saints, confident in your mercy revealed in their heroic lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
the film to just unwind you off you for the, the flying work of human hands it become a very spiritual thing because it become humble spirit Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord. And grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concerns for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in His glory bestowed upon the, those exalted members of the Church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. In silence, let us pray for our faithful departed. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of your heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and joy of the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with unending blessings now and forever. Amen. Freed through their intercession from present ills, and formed by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor now and forever. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that, that, that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be Speak to God. To God. Ang taong biyaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong kunla Misyong kaloob sa ating puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon 